First, we are going to go to Flickr.com, so open up your favorite internet browser and go to the domain Flickr.com. So the first thing we'll do is attempt to sign in by clicking here. This brings us to a different sign-in page, so we'll enter the credentials given to you via email. Once we've entered the correct credentials, the page will automatically bring you back to Flickr.com. So what we need to do now is click in the top left corner where it says You. This is your photo stream. Any photos you have already uploaded would appear here. However, there are currently none because we haven't uploaded anything yet. Uh, if your photo stream is empty, like ours, we'll pre be presented with a huge Upload Now button in the middle of the screen. Let's do that. We'll click Upload Now. So that presents us with another option to either drag or drop or directly choose photos. Either works. Uh, we'll locate some pictures on your hard drive that you would like to use. I happen to have some pictures of some bread here. So Flickr quickly loads in the pictures you've chosen. Flickr includes the ability to give a name and a description, um, so we'll give a title and description for each one here. We've got a little trouble there. Just select your image and um, go ahead and keep typing away. All right. So now that we've done that and we selected each one and gave it a description and a title, we can also add tags individually or as a group, so to do that just click the tags button uh, and put in some information related. You'll see it put um, our tabs there for us. Um, now we're done. Let's see if we can get that up to the top here. There we go. So now that we're done, we're just going to click in the top right corner and click upload three photos. And Flickr is going to uh, tell us a little information about what's going on here. Uh, so we'll go ahead and click upload. It's working magic, casting spells, continuing to upload. So our pictures are uploaded. Uh, but wait, there's a little more. You'll notice that all these pictures are taller than they are wide. So the height is taller, the width is not as much. Uh, these pictures are portrait rather than landscape. This is important. All your pictures used should be owned by you or the hospital and appear in a portrait format. Uh, the actual size we're aiming for here is 1280 pixels by 720. So if you have the ability to make those photos that size before you upload to Flickr, that's probably the best idea, but if you don't, no problem, we can take care of that in here. Um, and you also want to make sure you're keeping your detail in the center third of the picture and closer to the bottom when you're photographing or finding images. Uh, so let's get these photos organized and cropped for the correct size. So. What we'll do is click any picture. Uh, I like the last one, so we'll work with that one. Uh, this brings the image to full screen, and we'll click down in the bottom right. I'm going to resize my window here. Alright, 
So we'll click down in the bottom right. And then we'll choose Edit Photo in Avery. Uh, that's the three right dots. This is the More menu, and here's Edit Photo in Avery. Aviary, sorry. Uh, that'll load a new box. Give it time to cast all its spells. Here we go. Uh, so then up at the top, once Aviary loads, we'll choose Resize. Uh, so we'll want to resize the height, uh, ideally to 1280, and the width ideally to 720, so I'll attempt to do this. Uh, you'll notice the height and width change in ratio, so I can add 1280 as my height, but my width will be the same ratio. That's okay. We'll just set the height for now, 1280. Sometimes Flickr will tell you the image is too large. That's okay, just set it to the largest size Flickr will allow you to. This is no problem. Uh, if you take a look at our current slides, let's open a new tab and go to www.palmbell-sthboards, and then we'll click on 720, and if you haven't bookmarked this, do so. Um, and just click on any menu, menu page here. Uh, you'll see our slides are rather skinny. We're just going to roughly estimate the size on Flickr, but you can see what shape we're aiming for. So let's hop back over to Flickr and crop our photo. So we choose crop from the top. Uh, then you make sure the custom ratio is chosen. And just roughly estimate the proportions. To do this, grab any large white dot in the photo and click and hold to move it around. Uh, you can click in the center, in the highlighted area, to reposition the cropped area. Once you think you have it about right, just go ahead and click Apply. and then save. It'll give you some options if you want to change the other metadata of the photo, but we do not. Uh, just click replace the old photo and save changes. Again, working its magic. Uh, so now we have our reformatted picture, and as you can see, it somewhat matches the shape we need on the actual slides. So now, go back to you by clicking on you in the top uh, left corner, and we can see our updated photo next to the others. There we go. Here's our updated photo. We'll want to put this in a group, especially for use on the bread slides. Uh, these are called sets on Flickr. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and create our first set now. This is a very similar workflow and almost the same as uploading a picture. So we're presented, once we click sets, with another page for organizing. And um, we'll go ahead and create your first set now. All right, so this is for organizing, and you can see our current photos and little icons at the bottom bar of the page. It says in the middle to drag stuff here to get started, so that's what we'll do. You can click on all the pictures by holding down Control or Shift, and then drag them to the middle. Okay, voila, it creates a set for us. We'll want to add a title and a description on the left. Yeah. Uh, we'll click save in the bottom left column. Then click on the Flickr icon to go back to your home page. And click on you to go back to your photos. 
If we click on sets, we'll see I have a group called bread. There we go. And you'll see also we have the ability to add a new set. Uh, once the photos are grouped, I'll tell the slides to grab that particular set of photo for use on the bread slide. All that's left for you is to sign out by clicking on the icon in the top right and just select sign out. Here's the icon, sign out. Thanks for watching and please contact me with any questions. Again, if you already have photos formatted at exactly 1280 pixels by 720 wide, uh, you won't have to do all the resizing and cropping. Uh, but as you saw, if you do not have the ability to resize photos and the photos are vertical, you can go ahead and do all our resizing straight in Flickr and the slides will automatically be replaced. Thank you for watching.